What's up YouTube? It is your boy Lopes and welcome back to another video and yes it is your boy Lopes. So we kind of took a little tally. A few of you guys comment down below and you guys like the your boy Lopes. So I think I might stick with it for now. And welcome to the Canadian struggle. Underneath his beautiful tarp is Alex's WRX and today is just a bit of a vlog. Alex is doing an oil change and then what we're going to and he's changing his thermostat and he has to install a coupler because he did a front mount, my, my dude. And we're gonna start it for the first time and hopefully everything goes good. Then I got my Tentra and Civic back there and we're gonna install some uh, carbon mirror caps. Just a small little vlog, hope you guys enjoy it. Hey man, how's it going down there? What's up man? I wish I wasn't doing this right now. Yeah, this is the, this is the Canadian struggle. We've been getting murdered with snow and ice and it's so hard get all this ice and snow off the driveway. Mine's the exact same, you just gotta salt the shit out of it. And Alex is a champ, I'll give him that. This is the true Canadian, all you need is a cup of tins in your hand, and it's just the most Canadian thing you're gonna see. WRX in the snow, oh, you okay there, man? So, we are working on the shirt still. Today I might pick up the demo of the shirt. Uh, I'm gonna pick up one up and see how it turns out and see how I like it in person. And then once I figured that out and it looks good, we'll go into production. Like I said, it's gonna be a very limited production. And you guys just have to DM me here under Chris Lopes uh, on Instagram. And what you're gonna do is say what size you want. And they're roughly, I think, gonna be $25 for a shirt. So stay tuned and let's see how this vlog goes, I guess. Here's Alex's bay. Let's see if we can see the, oh, I'm getting water drops on my head. That's great. And on the camera, look at that front mount. Let's see if we can uh, get her on and turn her on today to everybody. If it turns on, are you going to give her a boot? No. No? At least, no. We'll, at least we'll get her running today, though. Yeah. Let's go. Jesus Christ, your car's pissing there, bud. At least it's going to melt the snow, no? Wow. That's a lot more cool than expected, isn't it? I wasn't expecting <laughs> that, though. Luckily, I got this handy dandy pail here. <laughs> Did it do anything? <laughs> Did it even catch anything? I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> and if you guys are wondering, this may look like a shit day to most of you, but this is a wonderful day for us. This has been, this is the warmest day in a long time. 100%. Here you go, there. Thanks, man. No problem, man. So once all this snow melts and this is all gone, we're gonna get the CSX out on the road, getting some driving and doing all that type of stuff. Like I said, one, I have mods for the both cars actually to do, but I need to move the CSX, which is dead again, because my batteries suck. Something's draining my battery, we gotta figure that out too. It is what it is. If any of you guys are interested, Alex's TSX here, he has a very, I think it's kind of rare lip on there. It's a CL7, I think Type S Accord lip, which you don't see too often, and it comes with the fogs and everything. Um, just has a few little scrapes, but it does not have any cracks, and it's supposed to be quite rare to find. It's even hard to find this thing online, so if any of you guys are interested, you know, hit me up, or hit Alex up, you know, and see, maybe we can work out a deal. As you guys saw in my last Instagram post, I got a new iPhone and it takes really good photos. And if you haven't seen it, go follow and see it. Take a nice photo of this. And we're gonna up our Insta game. These are the mirror caps I was talking about. Carbon looks really good on it. Decent price for it. If uh, we get a chance, we'll install them today. It's pretty easy. It's not like the clip-on ones. This is just a bit of 3M tape. I will stick it on and it should look great. We'll do the, well, this is gonna be kind of a, an easy quick install for anyone that doesn't want to do the whole mirror cap thing eventually I'm gonna replace the mirror caps in total but for now I'm just gonna use these because they look really good we haven't even seen the intercooler properly because we're right against the garage over here so we can't even get a good view of the car with the intercooler but it's gonna look beast and I know it is Alex it's gonna look beast it's gonna look beast it's gonna look beast now when we're parked side by side you're gonna see just two for a mount of intercoolers it's gonna look nasty that's like the Instagram hot boy things, eh? Look at that turbo back there, buddy. Look at that turbo. That doesn't look OEM. Okay. What? You tell me you didn't have an OEM turbo this whole time? <laughs> it's the moment truth, ladies and gentlemen. We are nervous. Moment of truth. Dun, 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 dun. This is nerve wracking. 
prime the fuel pump. As you guys can hear that, that's the injectors. And just priming the fuel pump. Maybe do it about 10 times. 5 to 10. I am super hyped to see this car running. It's been almost four months of it being absolutely in this spot without moving and it started out like a dream. Absolutely great, that's that's sick. I'm so happy for Alex that. Now we just gotta make sure there's no issues. So far it doesn't sound like there's any issues. The car just warming up. And uh, yeah, this thing's a beast guys, this thing's a beast. Do you have any words to the YouTubes? Do you have any great words for our fans? I miss it. Yeah. I really, really do. This summer and this season, you guys are gonna see these two cars out more. Uh, more videos. Is there smoke in the front here, right? Yeah, that's the same oh, okay, spot. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's just a cool it. This summer, this season, you guys are gonna see both these cars out. A lot more rollers, a lot more photos. This year, I'm, I'm giving myself a task to make sure we get way more footage of these, like this car and the CSX and the 10 Gen get way more footage of these cars and do a lot more vlogging videos like this so you guys can just kind of see what it is we do instead of all these install videos I hope you guys like this type of stuff um, I may add in installing the carbon mirror caps it's very easy just 3m tape I may not just kind of cold I don't think it's gonna stick properly welcome back to day two uh, this vlog needed a little more substance you know it was great the Alex car started and all that but today we're gonna install the mirror caps we're just adding a little more to this vlog so it's not as you know it's not that it was boring but it wasn't very detailed in what we did it was just kind of an overview and you guys kind of rode along with the thing with the thing rode along with us while we're doing it um, so I'm gonna show you the carbon mirror caps these are the mirror caps I was talking about this is my CSX carbon hood and as you can see it looks pretty good so the tones off just a little bit but the weave actually looks really good compared side to side so this is a 3M it comes with I think I'm gonna add just a few more strips just just in case I want it to stick on then go through a car wash or something and kind of fly off or on the highway so we're gonna add some more 3M tape to this so uh, you guys will see that shortly I bought these as a spontaneous buy. I was on Amazon and I found them and they look pretty good. So we're gonna go with it and holy shit, my fog light's still cracked. I gotta fix that. And uh, so we kind of just, I kind of just went with it. I bought it. I'll send the link down below. It's not a mirror cap replacement. It just goes over it. Uh, I've tested the fitment. The fitment is absolutely fantastic. And before you do that, make sure you wipe down the mirrors. You don't have any dirt or dust underneath it. So I've done that and the mirrors are pretty clean. So as you can see, these are the mirror caps. Uh, I'm gonna take off all the red tape and we're gonna get to it. Um, eventually I'll probably do the whole mirror cap replacement and not use these, but this is a good bang for a buck and we're gonna go with it for now. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone here, so I'm just gonna show you. It's basically just 3M tape, quite easy. Once you put it on, just make sure you press down on it. That actually looks pretty good. So I basically just put it on, I lined it, and I pressed it down. And that's the fitment. And that's the fitment up there. So it's a bit of a gap. It's probably going to bother me for a little bit. But like I said, until we get the other real mirror caps, this is going to just be a temporary solution for now. So when you do this, you want to make sure you get real tight to one side and push it like that and then push down on everywhere and just hold underneath the mirror while you're pushing down so you don't create too much stress on the bracket or this joint of the mirror and you just press down and you make sure it's tight and there you go looks beautiful another thing is I believe the fitment just a little more when I test fit it was a little better but I didn't test fit it with the extra 3M so I think that's what's creating this gap here because before we didn't have this gap here so it's up to you guys what you guys want to do. 
If you put extra 3M, you might have a bigger gap, which is kind of annoying me. Uh, but if you don't, and you don't put an, uh, an extra piece there, uh, it'll be closer, but you may have a chance of this falling off, which I don't want. But it looks pretty good, I'm not going to lie. And this sun glare, just a lot of little fine scratches already on this thing. And that's the only thing that needs to get washed, maybe buffed a little bit. Overall, it's a pretty good mod. It's very, very cheap and very small. The quality is actually really good. Like I said, the fitment wasn't as good as I initially tried it. It must have been the extra 3M I put on it, so it created a bit of a gap, a few mil there. So if you guys don't want it, that gap, just don't put any extra 3M. But what I found is that 3M that they give you is very thin and it might fly off, so I wouldn't take the risk, but if you guys want to, go for it. Uh, eventually, we'll probably have a carbon hood. We'll have that carbon lip back on and maybe something in the trunk area, trying, trying to bring everything together. Uh, yeah, this car slowly comes together. I can't wait to put a front lid back on it because honestly, it just looks so bare. I gotta fix the fogs. We have some piping to install, which the days are starting to get better. You're starting to see all the snow finally melting, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, CSX is dead, I gotta get it started again. Battery needs to jump. So, here it is guys. Thank you so much for watching. Easy, easy install. Not even a one to install it. Uh, 1 out of 10, but the quality is really good. Like I said, put extra 3M on there, you're gonna have a bigger gap. If you don't, it's gonna be tighter, but it looks really good. I kind of actually really like it. It's subtle, but it blends in. I'm just looking at it right now. The shirts are coming, guys. The design is in. I'm just trying to find the right person to produce it. I want good quality. I don't want to give you guys shit shirts. And let's just finish it off here. Perfect timing as that starts. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Do it once to right. Like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Peace. And then it may fly off, may fly off, <laughs> it may fly off, fly, oh.